Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi I'm Grace and if you want to find out more about me make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a big thumbs up and keep watching. So I asked over on my Instagram whether you guys wanted a chatty get ready with me or more of a Q&A style. If you're not following me on Instagram then it's at biology with Gracie, I'll put a link down below. But most of you said you wanted a chatty get ready with me. I think it was like 75% or something. Um, and then for those who wanted more of a Q&A style, I asked if you guys wanted to send in some topics or questions you had for me, or you wanted me to talk about, um, so that I could weave that element in as well. So everyone was catered for essentially. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video. It's, it's a bit of a different video for me. Usually they're more sort of structured, either, you know, talking to you about biology or, um, giving you info on revision and other things like that. So I thought I'd do more of a chatty video to see um, For you guys to find out how I'm doing what I'm getting up to and also to find a bit more about you So let's get into the video. So the first thing I've done this morning is I've actually had a shower Hence my hair looks a little bit messy and wet. It's still a little bit <laughs> wet from my shower um, but the main sort of um, skincare thing I use in the shower essentially um, is this body shop tea tree um, skin clearing facial facial wash um, and this is really really good um, I don't know about you guys but I found sort of in my tween years they say sort of like early teen years I was like I had really oily skin and now I've got um, sort of oily around my t-zone um, and then I've got really dry skin on my cheeks which is just I think it's really annoying to have combination because then it's just hard to, <laughs> to balance out your skin um, but yeah, so I've just been using this. It's really good. It makes your skin feel really clean um, and gets rid of the oil. So I'm going to start with a little bit of skincare to get my, my skin ready. So I find that I get quite dry eyes um, and they get really itchy like the corners. So I just put this um, Optrex Actimus Double Action Dry and Irritated Eyes Rehydrating and Protecting Spray. So I just put like two sprays on my eyes for this. Um, and then I've got this um, Witch Naturally Clear Blemish Stick and then I just put this on the spot. Next I'm going to put on some eye gels. Essence Arcadia Anti Wrinkle Lifting Hydrating Puffiness Dark Circles Firming Elasticity Fine Lines. It's really dark circles under my eyes. It doesn't show up as much on camera but they are pretty, pretty solid, pretty there. I then just use this Super Facialist Vitamin C Plus Brighten Dark Circles Eye Cream. Oh. I'll put these under my eyes. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of lip scrub and balm on. It's Cefudan Double Effect Lip Care. I had really dry lips January, February time. It's probably because of the cold as well, but they were like really bad and cracked and dry. And this stuff was really good. Then, so we're almost done with skincare. I'm just gonna put on some um, L'Oreal Skin Expert Paris Hydra Genius Aloe Water, and it, it smells really, really good. It's such, such like a fresh um, moisturizer smell. <laughs> so what I do before I put on makeup is put on the CeraVe moisturizing lotion for dry to very dry skin. Rub this into my skin. So there we go. I've done my moisturizer. Um, so let's get into some of the topics and questions. So I'm just going to um, put on some Nivea, Nivea Express Primer 24 hour moisture gel cream. I find this is good. It smells good as well. Um, but the first question, which is a really nice question, um, was how am I or how are you? <laughs> and I'm actually doing really, really well at the moment. Um, probably the best I've done in a really, like quite a long time. And that's not to say I've been really down or anything. That's just to say that I've got... Um, I sort of hit a couple of well I've sort of hit one like important milestone in terms of like career wise I suppose um and if you've watched my previous video you'll know that I've actually got um a job I've got a placement um and I've literally been applying and interviewing for like and researching for I think I think it's like eight months or something basically since like beginning of academic year but then also I was researching into what a placement is and what, what placements are there before the academic year so it's been a long time coming essentially um but oh it's just such a relief after so many c 
CVs and cover letters and I've had like assessment days and interviews and stuff it's just such a relief to get a role that I'm really really excited for and I'm really excited to actually sort of go out into work like obviously I've done lots of like part-time jobs here and there um, mm. alongside like academia but I'm yeah I'm really excited to go and work for like a a proper company that works in health and pharmaceuticals and life sciences. I'm working for consulting at McCann Health, which is in Russellfield. Um, I'm not going to say too much because I do explain it in my other video. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. So that's something that I'm really sort of buzzed and happy about at the moment. Also, uni's going well at the moment. I always find that semester two goes better for me. Not that I really had a semester two in um, first year, but it started off well anyway. Yeah, so semester two's started off really well. So far I've got a first in all of my like mid-semester assignments, which I'm so happy about. I've sort of got down the revision techniques and note-taking techniques that um, really work for me um, and really effective. So if you want to um, see how I make notes and flashcards and revise, then um, I will link those videos down below and make sure to go and watch. I use these two foundations mixed together. Um, so it's the Revlon Colour Stay, um, just says makeup, <laughs> normal or dry. It's got SPF 20 and it's shade 150. This is the Maybelline New York Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation in shade 10, which is ivory. I used to use this one, which is the Dermacool, um Film Studio Makeup. This one was on Instagram and stuff where people were like covering tattoos and stuff. And it is really good, it's really full coverage. Um, but I just found that it did feel like you've had a layer of sort of cake on your face. So I just wanted something that was a bit better for dry skin and a bit um, thinner. We've got something else exciting coming on it, um, in our family. Um, which I'm not going to say too much about at the moment, but I may talk about it in another video. But um, that's also something really, really exciting. So there's a lot of exciting, happy things going on at the moment. So that's why I'm, I'm so happy and I'm feeling good. Um, obviously, it's been a tough year. I've definitely had my moments like everyone has where things have just been a bit rubbish. Um, but I'm feeling good at the moment. So that's good. And thank you so much for asking. And um, also, let me know how you guys are. If, you're struggling at the moment or you're stressed out or if you are happy you've got exciting things going on comment down below let me know how you're doing i'm really curious to find out it's also nearly um our easter holidays at the moment so we get i mean we get a month off i mean obviously we've got exams after so we'll be doing revision and stuff um but we've got a month essentially off of lectures and stuff so that's something that's really i'm really looking forward to and obviously um restrictions are easing slightly here and there so that'll be good I think like many people the sun and stuff just makes me so much happier um, um getting lighter and stuff and just sort of sitting out in the fields with picnics and stuff i'm just looking forward to that to be honest Next question is how is your relationship so if you guys don't know i have um a boyfriend chris we've been together nearly three years now It'll be three years in august which is just crazy time honestly flies so much i can't believe it um but no, we are we are really good. Chris is in um, Leeds at the moment, so um, I didn't say before, but I'm studying BSc Microbiology at the University of Leeds, and I'm actually not in Leeds at the moment, I'm back home. I was in Leeds um, from like beginning of September to like early December, just before, I can't remember when the second lockdown was. You see, that's really good because I had, that was at the time when I could still play hockey um, with my team at uni. Um, what was I doing? I was going to the gym. I had like things to do. I talked to my mum on the phone and stuff and she said that obviously she didn't want to, she would never usually say sort of like come home like she's not that kind of parent at all, like she wants you to go out and be independent. But I think it would have just been really hard because all of my housemates bar one had gone home and I just think being there and not have things to do, I think I would have just sort of got into a slump. So I decided to come home then. I planned on going back, um, but it's just not really worked out that way and I'm happy here. Um, and considering I'm doing well at, at uni, I think having that sort of family around you and stuff has been really good. And obviously with my dog, that's been really nice. <laughs> so this is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. Yeah, so I was at uni for a bit um, and things are okay. It's really annoying because this year we've got such a good house. I found such a nice house with the loveliest landlady. Um, and it's, it would just be the perfect house for like house parties and get togethers and stuff. So it's a shame, um, but I've really been trying to think of the positives this year and I would have never been a um, student engagement intern. So if you guys don't know, I work um, online part-time as what they call a student engagement intern. So we basically like make YouTube videos and um, newsletters and do live events and stuff. 
and that's been a really good experience to put down on my CV. And also, I, without lockdown and stuff, I don't know if I would have even started this YouTube channel. It was definitely came at a time when I had time on my hands, essentially. Like, I've always wanted to do YouTube and stuff, um, but it essentially came at a time when I had lots of time. So, and those are like my top two things of this year, I suppose. And I may not have got like my placement without it, and I may not have got. Um, my job as a shooting engagement intern without Violet or Gracie so there's a lot of positives I, I think I've got to take from this year. I've also really enjoyed um, lectures being online, I just found it easier and it's so much easier to ans ask questions and stuff because you're not going to put your hand up in a lecture hall where there's like 400 people are you but you can like t easily type a message um, in an online lecture and obviously the rec and the recordings are much better as well because they're not recording someone in a lecture theatre they're recording someone just like in a video essentially. Um, oh sorry that was the um, Revolution Lusher Reloaded in the shade Violet Love. Um, I just I love this packaging and this. I think it just um, and the actual um, blush. I think it looks really. Obviously, cute. we haven't been asked to do labs, and like I'm not a lab person. Like my placement is not. Um, it's like an office based placement. It's not um, labby or anything, because um, that's never really been me. Um, but I think labs are always fun just to like chat to people and have a laugh and like do things wrong and that kind of thing so I think the social side to labs I've missed and um, the online labs have not been great then um, the first semester labs we had um on Monday they'd release like some information about a topic kind of thing you'd have to like research it and do a little quiz and then Wednesday and we'd have like a two hour like um it wasn't on zoom but essentially like a two hour zoom with our group um, and we'd have to go through these questions and phew, I just did not understand it the questions were really hard I felt like everyone knew what was going on and I didn't and honestly I think one of the sessions I did end up just bursting into tears because it was just so much pressure that it was just really horrible I didn't know what was going on the irony is I um, always do really well in like the lab reports and stuff but I think it's because I'm smart in the way of we have um, these like discussion boards um, oh sorry one second this was the Technique Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder um, I had the old one of this and I just think it's really good it's like two or three pounds and like you can kind of see the shine it's good um, but yeah we have like discussion boards for the, we had discussion boards for these lab reports so people would like put in questions and stuff and obviously to explain their questions they put in essentially information they're putting in their lab report <laughs> so i'd essentially pick out the information that these people had, had um talked about and pick out the answers that the um lecturers had given to the questions and then use that to put into my lab report so although i didn't so because i didn't understand it initially i was able to take that information together and understand it better and then the introduction is obviously just like research and stuff which i don't find too bad at all um, so yeah, I ended up getting high marks of those, which I, I don't even I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on some of these spots um, on my forehead and my chin. This is the instant uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Razor Multi. You can see the one that everyone uses. I don't think it's that great, but it's, it's cheap and it, it does a job. It doesn't do the best job, but it does a job. <laughs> I mean, obviously loads of people are missing like clubs and stuff, but I've just never really been a, like a club type of person. Um, I just always prefer like um, like house parties or just like get together with friends or like going to the pub kind of thing. Like I'm much more sort of a chill person like that. I'd much rather be around like a small group of friends that you're really close with that you can just sort of have a laugh with rather than like going to a club when you're at a club you've got to worry about your bag and make sure no one steals your phone and all your money and uh, I don't know I'm just and also like the music at clubs most clubs anyway that kind of like yeah everyone loves that student-y type of clubby music I just know that's just not for me um we have um a, a club night at the union on Fridays which is called Fruity Fridays <laughs> um and that's usually okay because it's like close to home it's like more safe it's just sort of students um from the university obviously um predominantly anyway and they play like classics like 2000s and like real sing-along songs so they're a bit better but 
yeah ultimately i just prefer chilling at home i think the good thing about housewives as well is usually there's like food and you don't have to spend loads of money on drinks like to be honest if i go to clubs anyway i just make sure i have drinks before i go out so like pre's because i can never really never really want to spend money on drinks and also you don't want to just be standing around waiting in a queue to get a drink do you like i don't know there's there's people who love clubs and there's people who are just like me who's just no <laughs> so i've really missed that this year to be honest um i think I definitely miss like talking to people and making new friends and socialising so I think the, the first lockdown was definitely the hardest for me I think lots of people have been saying like this lockdown is the worst for them but I haven't found that um all quickly I just used the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder yeah the first lockdown was, was the hardest for me because it was like so sudden and such a shock and obviously I couldn't see like my boyfriend and stuff um not that I can at the moment obviously but I think because the first lockdown it was such a shock and it was it was sort of like being obviously now we're being forced not to see each other but it was because it was so sudden it was like you can't see your boyfriend it's so like out of the ordinary I, like that was just really hard for me and obviously uni pretty much ended and um, I think there's some stuff online but it was just a bit I was just kind of a de depressed um and that's obviously when I decided to start Biology Gracie and I'm so glad that I did because it gave me like a project and something to really get on with and do and give me like goals and motivated me to actually get on with something. Um, but yeah, so that that lockdown was was hard. Um, now because um, obviously Chris is in Leeds um, and it's it has been like, mm, do you know what? It's not actually been that hard not seeing him. Like I have missed him, I think when I like get into bed and I just want to cuddle and stuff that's been a, that's been the hardest but it's been it's not been that bad at all and I never thought <laughs> I'd be like this like when we first got together um I was in year 13 he was in his second year of uni um so I was obviously back home and he was he was in Leeds and we literally saw each other like every two weeks like, I'd go up to see him on a weekend or he'd come back here um so we did see each other a lot and it was re that was really hard um and I don't know why because you think that it'd be harder now that we've been together longer but um this month particularly with like, I've had a lot of like interviews and uni work and deadlines and he's been doing the same he's he's in his fourth year he's doing um, a master's in computer science so it's like an integrated master's but essentially he's in his master's year um so he's been applying for graduate jobs and had loads of uni work and deadlines and stuff so we've both been really busy and I think that's sort of the best way for it to be to be honest we talk on like messenger and skype on messenger essentially and video call on messenger that's what i'm trying to say yeah so it's not been it's, it's been okay to be honest i'm really looking forward to seeing him when i can it's actually been all right to be honest and it'll be great when i can see him again but apart from that it's it's been fine i think that's partly due to the fact that i've been with my family though and my dog as well i think that definitely helps i feel like if i was just in leeds and couldn't see him and you know what i mean so yeah it's it's been good um i'm just using the nyx professional makeup ultimate shadow palette um warm neutral so they just look like this i'm always a neutral type of gal i just used this one right here and this one yeah that one to go over and i just use this brown i forgot yeah. to say as well that in semester one i averaged on my overall grade essentially was like a 65 percent i think i didn't have like my revision uh, techniques and stuff set out properly in semester one I sort of had them realize what I wanted to do towards the end so I didn't get enough time to implement it properly whereas at the start of semester two I was able to start doing that straight away which meant I not only have done better in the mid-semester exams I think I got two ones in semester one mid-semesters um, but I've, only, I've obviously got first in the semester two exams mid-semester exams what I'm trying to say um, and hopefully I'll be able to do better in the final exam so our final exams for nearly all of my modules apart from the like lab skill module and i'm also doing a module um which is communicating research beyond university which is oh i love it it's such a good module um but that's we have to write a report for that one well it's actually not a report it's um basically a project on like a piece of scientific research and um, i'll probably talk about that in another video because i, re I really enjoyed it um i'm just using this gold shade here if you can see there we go um i'm just putting that on like the outer half of my eye um yeah so we have to do a, um basically like a piece of coursework for that module um and then for the other 
exams, we have to do um, a multiple choice question component. So that's like similar to the um, mid semester exams. And then we've also had to do, um, we have to do an essay. And I didn't do too great on the essays. I think we haven't really got much kindness. We had like one session on how to do university essays. So I was a little bit confused. Um, but since then I've watched um, Dr. Shane's videos. Oh my God. <laughs> the fact that this guy does not have millions of subscribers, I don't know. Like I'd almost actually, yeah, he's better than Ali Abdul in terms of how to actually like, for me anyway, like what I want to find out is how to actually write university essays and how to actually do stuff rather than just how to be productive, how to revise kind of thing. You know, it's more tailored towards what I want to know. Um, his videos are so, so good. Honestly, please subscribe to him. He's so nice as well. Um, and he he should have millions of subscribers. Like his editing as well is so good. Um, he's definitely a, like a YouTube inspiration. So definitely go ahead and follow him. But he has helped me out so much when it comes to like how to actually structure essays and something that we have to do is critically analyze so essentially look at studies and think why why is that good why not necessarily why is that good and why that bad he also taught me that as well it's also about uh how how can this be applied to help with further research and stuff but yeah so his videos have been so so useful i've also been going to what we have um what we call skills at library sessions so they're like sessions with staff from the library um and they essentially do like i've been to different sessions like um critically analyzing information how to revise for exams um writing um essays um i went to i also went to um avoiding procrastination session which was held i think by staff from the school of psychology that one was definitely held by like more like academic stuff because they went into more like the science behind it um but yeah i've been going to a lot of skills sessions and the great thing about that as well is because they're all online so you can go to them easily and they're all recorded they give you all the slides and information um so i signed up to loads of those um i can't remember the names of all of them basically it's about like essay writing critical analysis um to basically help boost my essay writing skills because I just didn't really know what to do. I think on the, on our course they should have told us more, but um, a really lovely girl as well who's in one of my modules. She's I think she studies biology. She's she's definitely not on my course. But I think she does biology. I may be wrong. Um, but she we were talking and um, she was asking me for tips for the presentation for our skills in communicating research module. We had to do um. A presentation um, and they basically split it up into the groups of who had chosen what piece of research. Four researchers came at the beginning of the module um, and talked to us about their research. Um, I am going to talk about um, what I chose and what it's about in, a, in another video because I actually really, like I said, it's really interesting. Um, but essentially she was asking me for like tips and what she should write about and stuff for her PowerPoint and then we got talking about exams and stuff. I was saying how I'd struggled with the essay writing and she was really nice she gave me lots of tips and she also sent over like some of her previous essays that she'd done just because I really needed to see like good essays I really need to see a structure and they haven't really given us any sort of almost like exemplar answers and I find that that's something that you really need to see when you when you do stuff like this to, that was really nice of her so I'm feeling a lot more positive about these exams. I've got my fingers crossed. Overall, I'd be happy with the, with the two one, um, to be honest, because it has been a lot of hard work. And I'm just curling my lashes. These are just from Primark, I think. Like their eyelash colours, they do the job. My eyelashes are long, but they're really straight, so I have to curl them. Otherwise, it does not go well. I've got my fingers crossed about exams. Um, we've got those in May, so still a bit. Of time away we've got four weeks off for easter two more weeks of like lectures and stuff and then exams and then i'm done it's really weird um and then i've got my placement to look forward to also hoping to go um on holiday to spain um this summer so we've got our fingers crossed about that i spoke to my placement company and asked if i could go as well and they said that i can so hopefully we can go we didn't get to go last year abroad obviously like many many people um so yeah i'm hoping about that, that was another question actually like what did i want to do after lockdown um or what am i most looking forward to i think honestly it's just 
for just the actual freedom you know like before obviously you just had that freedom to do what you wanted to do whenever so i could just say oh yeah we can meet up then or oh we can do this then or oh yeah let's have a party then kind of thing i think i'm just looking forward to the normality of things essentially um oh and i'm definitely looking forward to going to restaurants that is a thing in my family we love doing that so that's something i'm really looking forward to and me and chris haven't been on a date to a restaurant <sighs> last time we went was my birthday last year so february just before essentially like a month before lockdown um, <laughs> so we haven't been um on a on a pro i don't think we've been on any date i think we went on like a picnic and stuff but in terms of actually like going to a restaurant and stuff oh to be fair we went with his family um when the lockdown was lifted at, at the point where you could go to restaurants and stuff but in terms of just me and him, we haven't actually been on like a proper thing for ages. So that would be nice doing that with him. I was just using the Maybelline New York Lash Lift Mascara. It's the Full Seas Lash Lift. But you know what? Something I really, really want to do is go to a spa. Or well, the spa, essentially. There's a spa that I go to. Um, it's Which is really, really nice. Um, it's the Aquasana Spa. It's the Centre Park. It's in Woburn. Oh, it's so good. Like, I think at most country houses and stuff, the spas, there's like, I don't know, one pool, a sauna and a foot spa or something. Whereas this one is big. It's like huge. It's got two levels. It's got like loads of foot spas, loads of different rooms, rooms where there's like sprays and stuff um, and different aroma rooms. There's an outdoor pool. Um, there's just loads to do. Like, it's really, really enjoyable. And they've got um, a lovely cafe there as well and with one of the packages that we usually do we usually do like the nighttime one which is like pretty sure it's the cheapest one but you can go for like five of that five hours in the evening which is more than enough time and you get like a free drink or something with it as well and we usually get some food and it's just so nice and so relaxing so that's something i'm really really looking forward to doing that's um after lockdown and everything so i just sort of go underneath on top with my eyebrows and then brush them out this was the Brow Artist Expert L'Oreal Paris Brow Pencil and Mechanical Brow Pencil and Styling Brush. Um, so it just has like a little pencil thing on the end there and then a little brush on the end there. And then for my lipstick I just use, um, this is Max Factor, essentially it's this pink sparkly shade. Right, so this is my lovely lip liner, it's very tiny right now. Um, these are really cheap off of um, Amazon. These are the True Lips Lip Liner Pencil. Just outline my lips. I'm not an overliner at all. Just outline them, colour them in. And then just put some of this on, not too much. Oh, I forgot I got another question on um, what I want to do with my future career. So I definitely want to go into Originally I wanted to do medical writing, but I don't think that's where I want to go. I don't think I want to do writing. Um, I want to do something along the lines of what I'm doing with my placement, so like consultancy, um, definitely some form of science um, communication, whether that is like video and TV and stuff like that. Um, we actually had um, Marty Jobson from The One Show, I don't know if you know him, but he's like the science guy. Um, we had a lecture with him um, yesterday for our communicating research, which was really, really cool. Um, so he was talking to us for two hours about like his career and tips and stuff. Um, and so that really inspired me. I'd, I'd love to do something on like TV or the media and stuff because like over the past year or so as well, my confidence has really boosted. And in terms of like talking to cameras, doing live events, talking to people, um, I def yeah, I, I'm definitely more confident with that. So that's something I could really see myself doing. Um, there's also other like um, STEM outreach stuff so obviously going into like schools and stuff and communicating research and obviously I love um, students and children and stuff hence my like previous roles um, as like um, a tutor and things like that um, and obviously I would do a great thing <laughs> um, but no yeah so it's been something that's been really that I've, I've thought about so I'm not I don't have a specific kind of career path I want to go into but definitely some sort of scientific consultancy or communication um for sure so yeah I'm looking forward to it and someone also asked where would you like to like see yourself in like five or ten years I think how old am I now 20 I think 
I definitely want to um, have obviously essentially graduated university with either a 2-1 or a 1st and so got my degree, um, moved in with Chris and got a house that would be really really great um, and then hopefully got engaged and married um, and then I feel like maybe have my first child maybe either just before I'm I'm 30 like 28 29 or when I'm 30 so we're just gonna see obviously see how we feel see how things go really want to travel and stuff as well definitely I want to go to everywhere really I want to go back to America I want to go to Australia I want to go to all the like Bali and Thailand and all those nice places that everyone goes to I really want to go to um like um other places in Africa like safaris and things like that I've been to Egypt before which I loved um I'd love to go to like South America. I just want to go everywhere really. I really, really, really want to travel. Um, whether that's with like my mum or my family or Chris or um my friends. So that's something I really want to do. So yeah, I want to have travelled loads, um, got a good career going, um, with a lov lovely house and married. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much done. Let me take my hair out. It's still a bit wet. Um, let me show you my outfit. I've just got this little black top on. They're just like flared trousers. Both these are from Shein and actually they're so comfy and I think they're really flattering as well. I'll make my legs a longer when actually they're very short. <laughs> I'm only like five foot two, five foot three. I've not worn jeans for god knows how long. Um, they're just not for me. I've got loads of different types of trousers. Yeah so I've just got these um, like black stripy ones which I've had for ages now i really like those i've got these ones here from Shein, and i've also got like a pair like this but they're actually joggers but they look like trousers like this essentially i think she's really good i've also got some like just plain black trousers too so i'm definitely like a nice trouser plain top kind of girl i hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of oh let me remember this kind of different video um, please give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and if you've got any more questions or you want me to do another video like this or you want to find out some more about me then please let me know and um, subscribe down below and yeah I will see you in another video bye guys